If Jason Griffith never had the opportunity to voice the Blue Blur, Ryan Drummond, who happens to be everyone's favorite Sonic voice actor, would have also been my favorite Sonic voice actor. Prior to Ryan Drummond voicing the character, there were other voice actors who played the role of Sonic, like Julia White or Martin Burke. But personally, I think they didn't capture the spirit of the character just yet. Ryan Drummond, on the other hand, does exactly that, as he lays the foundation of what Sonic is supposed to sound and be. A free willed hedgehog who seeks out fun and adventure, who also has the conscious mind of doing what's right, while at the same time having all the attributes of being a teenager. Ryan's voice fits perfectly for the character, but I also have some issues with his performance that makes me prefer Jason a lot more. In my Jason video, I said that Ryan was a bit one note for me. He's not as bad as Roger was in the meta era, in which Sega seemed to forget who Sonic was, but he does lack the ability to express himself in different scenarios. With an adventure one to heroes, the only thing that stood out to me in Ryan's performance was that he was really good at showcasing Sonic as an amateur teenager, expressing himself as again, a free with a hedgehog who seeks out fun and adventure, while also having an attitude with his snarky responses and whatnot. However, he fails at expressing Sonic in different ways, such as being emotional, mellow, and humorous for example. When he does try to express Sonic in different ways, it either leads to his delivery falling flat or being forced at times. You're right, my friend. So here we go. To the end! Watch out! You're gonna crash! Ah! Just made it. Too bad it's all over! For you! If I had to guess, I don't think he had much time to deliver his lines compared to the other voice actors. Going back to these games, it seemed like they only took one or two takes of dialogue before moving on to the next thing, while Jason and Roger on the other hand seemed to have taken more time to deliver their lines to their perfection. Sometimes though, it's really not Ryan's fault, as most of the time, the game he stars in can ambush his work, either having things too loud to hear his dialogue, or having characters accidentally talk over him. Not even good enough to be I'll my make you eat those words. These things make it extremely difficult to enjoy his work, and instead kills the experience for me. Many people would consider Sonic Heroes as his best work, which technically is, but I feel like if he was given one more game, Shadow the Hedgehog to be exact, I think he would have finally reached his peak and full potential as Sonic, as the game not only doesn't seem to ambush anyone's work, but the voice actors in this game also seem to have more time to deliver their lines to their perfection. But that's just me. Despite all the criticism, I still think Ryan is still one of the top 3 best Sonic voice actors out there, with second place going to Junichi, and obviously Jason being at number 1. While again, he does lay the foundation of what Sonic is supposed to be, as time went on, we would see tiny cracks in his performance that I stated earlier, but it's not all that bad. Again, I think if he was given more time to improve as Sonic, he would have definitely been ranked a lot higher. But since his time as Sonic was cut short, we're left with what is being presented to us instead of what it could have been. While he's not my favorite Sonic voice actor, I still think he's pretty decent in his own right, as I think again, he was the first actor to feel the spirit of what it's like to be Sonic. <laughs>